What's up everyone? It's Saturday night in my makeshift car studio. I fixed the lights. Um, let's just find out what your person, what their higher self would say to you. If they, obviously this is going to be not in communication, in separation, or you're having difficulty communicating with each other. So this is what their higher self is expressing to you. So what does your person want to say to you from a higher source? Spilling the real tea for you. My hair is crazy today, sorry. So we're just rolling with it. It's also freezing. <laughs> What does your person want to say to you? Collective. Hmm. Okay. Starting up. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, by the way, these are messages of love oracle cards. <laughs> All right, so first of all they're coming in the higher self is saying I'm working on balancing this person myself that's what their higher self would say they want to come in with stability they want to be solid secured healed but right now they're not in balance and they need stability and I think that's what they're working on and what they would say to you or if you are in a relationship together, they want to bring back this balance and stability because they're feeling like things are a bit chaotic. We have marriage and different pages. So if your person is married, they would tell you that their marriage isn't going well, um, that they want different things. Um, but this could also mean that their person doesn't really know about you or their feelings for you. But overall, the general consensus is um, they're heading for Splitsville, pretty much, to say it bluntly. And if you are married, um, this is again backing up that things are chaotic. You seem to be on different pages and there's distance. We have apology and then denial. So... Expressing that they have something to apologize for, or this could be they want an apology from you. Um, they're in denial about either they don't think you'll ever make that apology, or they don't, um, they're not ready to face that they feel ashamed or embarrassed, or this could be your energy as well. Somebody's like dragging their feet about an apology or dragging their feet about seeing their wrongdoing in it. Or someone's just like, I'm not going to communicate. I'm going to deny everything in this relationship. Give the cold shoulder until I get an apology. Could be that as well. Then we have spiritual lesson and interference. So there is karmic lessons being learned. Um, but there's interference, there's people involved in blocking this connection, whether it's karmics, whether it's family members, whether it's friends, whether it's interfere um, with your person or with you. Um, although you are learning and you are growing spiritually and facing those karmic lessons, there is still some roadblocks in the way here. There's something, for some reason, um, it could be some kind of 
falling out or adversity or some um if one is married and one is not like there's reasons why that this connection can't come together at this time or if you are in the relationship together it's like you're learning lessons or at least seeing clarity but there could be people being involved in your marriage there could be third party interference family members um just life in general interfering on making this work and then we have longing put away the computer so like i said majority of you are in separation or at least spending a lot of time away from each other um i think your person would say i hey uh stalk you a little bit check up on you too much um missing you hoping for you longing for you that they're just kind of like I don't feel like they're stalking you in a creeping way, like looking at your pictures, whatever you're up to, but now they're feeling the need that they have to step back because they do feel at some aspect, perhaps you're on different pages, they do feel like an imbalance is happening here. Um, there's some kind of interference holding them back. It's like, I do feel like they want to reach out, but they don't know what they would say and for some reason they can't. Zodiac and Romance Angels. Ooh, chemistry, yeah. There's a lot of, like, sexual desire. Very attracted to you physically. Um, and they do feel like this is, like the extreme end of chemistry they do feel a little bit addicted to you you deserve love so perhaps they're willing to give you a second chance here if you're the one that wants to apologize or feels the need to um i do think they're gonna love you through it but the, this is also recognizing this person is seeing their worth and that they deserve somebody um that's good for them which i think would be you yeah passion <laughs> chemistry passion yeah longing for you missing you all stirred up could be having sexual dreams about you if you're apart could be playing in the 5d trust they do trust you and they do trust this connection although i do feel like there is a little bit of hesit hesitant energy like they're a little bit guarded but they do know that they can trust you in their soul their higher self is saying they do trust you and they they do believe you're the one with this true love um forgiving and learning yeah um you're both retreating right retreat to me is like in separation you're both learning karmic lessons going through some shit and you both think that each other is worth waiting for this higher self is kind of giving you both sides which is cool but for the most part this is your person if they pulled away from you um they had some healing and learning about their own journey that they needed to go through and deal with um they also don't feel like you're ready for some sense so they pulled back they know that you're worth waiting for i think they're waiting for you to come to them or to get a sign to move towards you Yeah, they're keeping an open mind here they haven't given up they haven't lost interest like i said i think they're just waiting for a sign here or waiting um to heal waiting to get their ducks in a row perhaps Ooh, past life relationships so yeah that's what they're dreaming about they're seeing you as lovers in past life like seeing the full shebang like everything if you know what I mean. I've had dreams like that. It's kind of creepy because I can't, I can only see through my hair down. It's like spirit fucks with me and won't let me see the face. <laughs> I can see everything else, not the face. What the fuck? <laughs> and there has been other faces and I think that trips you up because they end up being false twin flames. Also, I don't really, I kind of want to be surprised, so maybe that's why they cut the neck off. But I feel like your person, what I'm getting at is having those dreams. Um, <laughs> seeing you guys, mostly, 
Alright. I guess I'll tell you my experience because I feel like it it doesn't happen the same way for everybody. But if you have a past life, like I said, <laughs> have this guy and a whole array of different lives of different interests, kinkies, preferences or whatever, like your soul comes back different. And it's like, you know Jurassic Park? And they sit on the thing and they're going through the and they're, the lab and seeing stuff. It was like I was sitting down and just, it was like a fucking slideshow of sex stuff for like two nights. It was crazy weird. I feel like that's what's going on with your person. I don't know if they're seeing your face, but I don't see my person's face. It's kind of creepy. It's the headless guy. <laughs> I was like, what are we doing <laughs> in some of those? I don't care. I'm a curious person. <laughs> Even in sleep, I was like, hmm, that's a little bit crazy. I don't think I would do that in this life. Or, hmm, maybe I should try that one day. <laughs> Take it, no. Shh, guys, it's okay to admit. Just because we're women, duh, you can talk about it. doesn't make you... Less classy. Every lady likes sex. And if they say they don't, they probably never orgasm. And you should pray for them because I'm sad as fuck. <laughs> anyway. Um. What's wrong with me today? I don't know. Fuck it. We're just free-spiriting as the mouth today. Sleep deprivation. <laughs> okay, so astrology signs and then we're going to talk about energies. What is up? What the? What the? It's like a doinker. See this? I hate it. Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Happy birthday, Sagittarius. My mom's birthday is tomorrow. She's turning 60. It's a big birthday for her um so it's Sagittarius season happy birthday or happy belated birthday or happy incoming birthday <laughs> okay so and Scorpio you just had birthday happy belated to you as well then we have fire and air Neptune and Mars so let's talk about energy <sighs> Puts to sleep. I hate it when the tingles come. <laughs> anyway, Gemini lovers. So this could be they see you as a twin, twin flame, soulmate, deep love, or these could be in their chart or their astrology signs. Virgo, they're still in that I want to come correct. I'm trying to mature, grow up, evolve. Mars is. They're very protective of you and their feelings and their, their feelings for you. I think they're feeling a need to hold themselves back a little bit. Um, we have air. So that could be another Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Then we have Neptune. That's that coming out of the hurt energy, working on themselves, doing that healing work. Maybe that's why they're a bit defensive because they know they're a little bit raw. Air energy, I think they're very much thinking about you, daydreaming about you in a very creative space. Like I said, I think they're having sex dreams about you. Don't kill the messenger. Don't blush. You know you have sex dreams about this person too. You can't hide from a medium, okay? You both be having sex dreams or fantasies or zoning off or whatever it is that you do to yourself thinking about them. This is mutual energy. <laughs> I don't think you would tell each other that at this point, but I'm calling you both out. Alright, so Sagittarius is all fired up, passionate, wanting to come rushing in. Just let me love you. <laughs> Making a... Either... They're coming in with an offer of feeling like it. Or they're feeling like just saying, You know what? I just have feelings for you. If that could be a confession. 
And then we have Scorpio. Yeah, they're a little bit two-faced to you a bit. They're, they like you. They want to open up. They want to show you. But at the same time, they're guarded and defensive because they're clearly going through something or healing from something. But they are all fired up. Perhaps they're scared of the effect you have on them. <laughs> Perhaps they're scared of the amount of passion. Um, maybe they're a bit intim intimidated by the sex dreams. They probably can't look you in the eye because they're having sex dreams about you at night. And then they're like, oh God. Because, you know, you see it and then they're going to want to do it. I don't care what kind of lady they are. They saw themselves with you. So now they're going to want to try it. So every time you look at them, they're probably like, oh, fuck my life. You know, women get those urges too. So if you find that they can't look at you, they're having sex dreams about you, a bro or a lady. Just saying, it works both genders. It's like you get embarrassed because you feel like they know that you're having sex dreams about. Like if you lock eyes too long, they're going to know. Or maybe you're afraid that they're going to... Like you're per like this me personally, if I did see necklace or necklace faceless guy and I ever saw them in person, I'd be like, they know that I saw them naked, and I might just blurt out in the conversation like, I totally saw you fucking naked, and I think you should do it again. I mean, hi, because <laughs> sometimes I don't have a filter. I don't care. I'm a Virgo, but I'm also a fire. So Virgo tells you how it is, and fire does don't give a fuck. If we have a passion, we do it. <laughs> um, tangents. Why? I don't know. All right, let me run this off for you one more time because I bumped my gums and I distracted my own fucking self. Ugh, sleep will be good today. So they do see you as their other half with this Gemini energy. They're twins, soulmate. Don't worry about the labels. They're analyzing it. They're trying to be smart and make the best choice here. They're a little bit defensive, a little bit hesitant. They're not quite sure if they can trust you all the way. Or they're scared of getting hurt. Or they're scared of the intensity of their feelings and what they're seeing in their dreams. They daydream about you. They dream about you at night. They think about you a lot. They're all fired up with the Sagittarius and fire. You could be coming back together because this is Sagittarius season. So it could be happening now. The sex dream stuff <laughs> could be happening through Sagittarius. And that continues to grow. They are a little bit two-faced to you. Like they'll be cool to you. But they're not going to tell you. They're not going to spill the deets just yet. That they, <laughs> they're definitely not going to let on. Let you know that they are like wanting to rip your clothes off with all these dreams they keep having i think it's eating at them a little bit i'm getting that what was that movie with um, josh hartnett it was like 40 days and 40 nights or something with the lent and he couldn't have sex and he started going crazy at the end i feel like that might be happening a bit with being forced to see it i don't know if you're in contact or if they know who you are um like i said i don't see mine it's just the neck down creepy as fuck sometimes but also like i look for like <laughs> do they have tattoos do they have like weird toes so if i'm like ever out somewhere and i see that and i'm like there's necklace or headless guy why do i keep saying necklace maybe there's something about a necklace anyway neptune i hope they're seeing your face Please tell me how they react to you because that's how I'm going to react. <laughs> Give me a heads up, people. If I ever see the face, who knows? I don't know how it fucking works up there. I'm just, I just work here, people. All right, this is my deck. Let's get some deets. What do they want to say? Apparently a lot. Oh my god, <laughs> it's like a whole chunk. One at a time, please. Be clear and precise. Having fun, high vibes, leaving their comfort zone. They're working on themselves. I feel like they're climbing out of some kind of healing depression, like I said. 
trying to raise their vibration and be more positive. We have rage and temper tantrum in reverse. So <laughs> maybe they were coming out of something very hard or toxic that made them a little bit crazy. Or perhaps this whole sexual energy is making them crazy. So they're just turning that energy into having fun. Trying <laughs> to push it off to the side a little bit. They're pondering, why am I having all these dreams and these feelings? What is going on? This is their higher self. They're like, they, I don't think they've ever felt this way or had a connection with anyone like they do with you. They're like, what does this all mean? But definitely that Virgo energy is analyzing. Secret lover. So yeah, this person <laughs> is... Like I said, with that Scorpio energy being a little two-faced, they could be a friend. You might not even know, but they want to make it official. They want to tell their feelings. They want to start new here if there's any bad blood. We have spying jealous karmic energy. Ooh. This could be your karmic who's jealous. But I don't really feel that, though. I feel like... I think their karmic is spell spelling. <laughs> their karmic is spelling on them. C J I T F A C E. Um, that would be so weird. But I don't know if somebody's spying on your person or spying on you. I don't really. I feel like this is that energy of them, like, looking into your social media. They they have all this sexual energy. So, perhaps they're just, like, like, this is them looking at your picture and being, like, lady boner or man boner. <laughs> I'm just telling you the vibes I'm feeling. Keeping it real, people. Overindulgence in reverse. They're not trying to uh, hang on... To this too much get hung up on it i think at some point they were overwhelmed by their feelings now i think they're just trying to move on um they're not annoyed with you anymore perhaps they were snappy with you perhaps this dream stuff is in the past tense and they could have been snappy at you because they had all that sexual frustrating energy or perhaps they're taking all that sexual frustrated energy out on themselves. So they're calmer around you. Could be that as well. <laughs> but this person, I don't know if you think that they're like partying too much. They're not. Um, even though we have having fun and high vibes, this person knows their limits. They're not like um, out here doing crazy shit. They're not annoyed with you. We have... Oh, okay, self-love. They're loving themselves. They're working on themselves, pulling all that love and energy back. Um, so that's why they're not anno annoyed with you or anything. They're like, maybe they were more annoyed with themselves getting caught up on you and hung up. Ooh, we have no compromising. They're in that stubborn energy now. They're not willing to show the feelings. What goes on with this person? How cute. We have no communication, hiding feelings, restrictions, and reverse. So, yeah. They're, I think they're refusing um, to take less than they deserve. Perhaps they did communicate to you um, their boundaries. They set some boundaries here. And they're not compromising on that. Or they want to come out of compromise. Out of not out of compromise, and they want to come out of no communication. Well, they're a little bit in their head, a little bit making it bigger than it is. If there was a tiff or something, some kind of argument, um, they're blowing it up. But for the most part, I feel like they're unable to focus <laughs> with those sex dreams. They're very distracting. I'm not sure if it's past tense or current but you are like distracting them at work you're distracting them at home all up in their head we have spite and viciousness in reverse but although they're all up in their head and you're driving them crazy this isn't somebody 
that's like angry with you they're just like ah oh, like what is this they like you they want to see where it, it goes but i feel like there's a lot of fear or there could be um some reason why they can't come forward anxious in reverse so they're not like sitting home pining for you <laughs> or worried about where this connection is going i feel like i kind of just given it up and it's just what will be will be kind of energy this is more of an inner battle with themselves about you it's what their higher self is spilling it's all these conflicts within themselves happy shock in reverse They're afraid that um, you're not going to be happy if they did express feelings here. Maybe they think that you don't want them back in some aspect. Let's get... Uh, if I can reach it. <laughs> um, anyway. One of my seats back this far. I can't even reach the pedals. Stupid. <laughs> I didn't think I was that short. What the fuck? I don't like it. I'm gonna have to start wearing heels again. Maybe that's why I forgot I was short. <laughs> um, we have, ooh, lion. They think you, very, like, they hold you in high regard. They think you are someone of high stature, respected, um, classy, sophisticated. But also, like, lion is kind of, like, fierce. Um, <laughs> I think they you're the dominant one in these visions they're having. Be in reverse. You're not giving them the honey. You're not, um, or they're not giving you the honey. Feelings aren't, haven't been expressed. Like, they want to come over and buzz around you and give you that nectar <laughs> but they're not they're they're very reserved and keeping it to themselves for some reason scorpion yeah again with that i'm just gonna act like we're friends or i'm gonna act like i'm not interested but this person definitely is fired up about you <laughs> hiding it the phoenix, yeah, because they're not confident enough to come forward, or this could be you not confident enough. They're raising their courage here. Badger. <laughs> um, they're being sneaky in how they watch you, and a little bit of uh, cyber stalking, looking into you. Um, wow, yeah, you made a big, huge impact on this person in their life, and their feelings for you are huge and deep and overwhelming at times. Jellyfish, yeah, they've, they're feeling, like, all wrapped up in you, like, entwined. Like, even if they wanted to forget about you, they couldn't. <laughs> Flamingo, they do want to, uh, appease your eye like dress in a way to be like make your mouth they're they're sexually fresh yet right they're seeing you guys scrump bumping uglies naked tango whatever you want to call it night after night after night after night right so they have all the sexual sexual energy i don't know if they can see you or if they see you in general but then they have to see you, and then they can't act on it, and that makes them more frustrated. So they go home, um, tug the rope or double-click the mouse, if you know what I mean, trying to release this energy. It works for a minute, and then the energy builds and builds and builds and builds. So they're like, I want to make this fucker, not that you're a fucker, but you know what I mean, so hot and bothered like they are <laughs> they want this flamingo is like they want to prance in front i don't know if it's a female this is like showing off the leg like making you want to do just do this and like check please you know what i mean they want that reaction so look out for that if this is a female if it's a guy it's in the same aspect they want to like 
I don't know, be at the gym and come out with like the steam and the shit. I don't know. Whatever. I just did a whole SNL skit in my head for a minute. <laughs> anyway. Brighter brains. Cougar. Ooh, very fierce and protective of their feelings for you. They're very scared to tell you um, how much you mean to them. Because I feel like in some, they might fear it's unrequited or they might fear you're going to use it against them or have some kind of power over them. But Cougar, this person could be older or you could be older. <laughs> They're definitely seeing you as a sexual predator. They feel like you're somebody who um, knows what the fuck they're doing. And they're just kind of like... Because <laughs> they're seeing it, you know? So... And those feeling the sexual vibes in the air here. I don't know if this is a mutual energy, but I kind of feel like it is. So this intense... Oh yeah, bear. They're in hibernation. They're keeping to themselves. I think they're waiting for you. Um, maybe they don't know how you feel. Or maybe they can't come forward. Why are you hibernating? Oh my god. We'll find out. What's good? This person. Yeah. <laughs> They have desire for you. It's so distracting, so they're turning to work. I really feel like this person thinks that you're out of their life or they don't have a chance. Or they feel like they're not good enough for you. So this could be them taking leadership, putting that energy into themselves, working on their own life and trying to hide this desire. Especially if you work together, I think they might be afraid to blur those lines forgiveness. I think they do forgive you or want your forgiveness for something here. Maybe they forgive you for letting them go or hope that um, you forgive them. Maybe they let you go. But I think like whatever if there was something that happened it's like water under the bridge or they're trying to forgive themselves for something. Working on their shadow side, doing that healing, coming in, yeah, releasing any pain or toxicity. They could be recovering from past relationships if there's no rift between the two of you. This person is healing, working on themselves, but they do have this strong desire. They're fighting it a, a little bit. They have compassion for you. They have sensitive feelings for you. They don't have anger for you. And they know that if they came forward and told you what was going on, you would be compassionate and, and you know, lean, lean out to lend them a hand. But I think they kind of want to do this on their own. Um, they might be leaning on family members or friends. It's important that they do something by themselves right now. We have perspective. They're trying to be more positive and get out of like a depressive state. They're learning really hard karmic lessons. They're trying to grow up for you, for your connection, working on their spirituality song. Um, they could be a musician. I feel like um, they could be writing a song here about your situation or this is sound healing. Again, just working on healing, getting their feelings out. Mantra, coming home to themselves, centering, balancing. Again, this higher self version of your person is like, we just need to heal. They've been through a real lot. Have compassion. Know that they're coming forward. They do have all this sexual tension going on. Um, but it isn't just sexually based. I know I talked a lot about it. It is very deep, loving feelings. And it's to the point of scary. Because if it was just about sex, you know, that could be something they could just push aside and move on from. But it's love and sex and both are overwhelming. And I think this person is a little like, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> we have dream. Yeah, so they're dreaming. Dreaming hardcore. And it's making them... <laughs> Spirits making them want to move forward the action because 
they're seeing not just the sex like don't just get hung up on that i feel like they are seeing a lot of that but they're seeing you happy like with kids and all these different versions of your past life um even if you don't believe in this stuff your person is getting these downloads so it's like they're seeing all this good and happy stuff and it's making them want to come rush in but i feel like they're very scared to belong if that makes sense challenge they kind of feel this person's very guarded they feel like somebody always is trying to play them or after something this person um i think they know what love is and they have a very strong foundation in what they want with this purple love you can't see it it's a heart on their coffee mug right there very subtle but they know what they want but they just i think they've been played too much so th they take their time now. And I feel like this person really just wants to take it slow and it scares them that they want to come rushing in because it's out of character for them. Yeah, <laughs> they, they ran to their sanctuary. You scared them. Or they're not fully healed. Or both. Sovereignty. Yeah, they're working on themselves. They're trying to be a better person. They're trying to have better... For their life really focused on not needing someone else and standing on their own two feet they're setting boundaries they they do need some space they're not going to take less than their worth i feel like they're saying come correct basically don't come unless you're going to come correct is their energy they're very thankful for you though i think you've helped them a lot especially to awaken spiritually and I think they are thankful that they're having these dreams because it's giving them hope to believe in love again. For some reason, this person stopped believing love was real. But it's all they ever wanted with this gift. And I feel like this well, that's what they're thankful for. Like this person it was probably a dreamer. Um, very romantic and they could have gotten something very toxic and it kind of sucked that all out which I can relate to myself like when you go th through something brutal and it happens on a repetitive cycle you lose the potential to believe that um, relationships or love can be good and if you only have bad and toxic examples of what love is um, you start not to want it and I feel like this person is because of you believes in love and believes that it can be good and that they can trust because they did have trust coming out i believe honestly in my personal opinion despite any relationships they might have had prior i think you are the only one of the opposite sex or same gender in relationship that they have ever just immediately been drawn to this intensely and trusted um, especially without feelings being expressed. To be able to just trust you instantly. They're very intimidated by that. This is somebody who's very hard to read. And probably goes through their life. Kind of keeping people a little bit at a distance. They have great pain. Um, but the, it's not like they walk around a, a broken or a victim. They have overcome it. But because of what they've overcome it just naturally makes you want to keep a small circle and the fact that they just want to pull you right into their circle is very very scary but do know that they do want to come in and take action they are dreaming about you you are their dream person um they do have romantic love feelings they really want to rip your clothes off right now so <laughs> we have vision they're they're getting visions of how they want to seduce you um to release the tension i think <laughs> they might if you catch them staring at you or something i feel like they're daydreaming about what like they said they want to seduce they want to flip the script they want you to feel the suffering that they're feeling and they're daydreaming of ways to do that to turn that sexual energy around but i feel like like be careful i'm not suggesting you just go up and like try to do something because you need consent and this world is crazy and be very careful but i think with a little bit of a push with all the sexual energy like they how do i 
I say this without being too raunchy? <laughs> so, through the lifetimes that they're seeing with you and all the crazy little quirks, like every time you rotate back here, you're a little bit different, but you have some qualities <laughs> and some things repeat. So, they've seen you one, give it to them in numerous ways. Um, and that it's pleasurable in ways never before in their life. So, those visions <laughs> are very intense for this person. I'm sorry, I don't usually give in to the sexual energy, but this whole reading is entwined in these sexual visions and dreams this person is having. And I really just see somebody who's just like jittery as fuck and like <laughs> sexually constipated. That's what I'm going to call it. You are driving them crazy. I don't know what you're doing, but they're frothing at the mouth at this point. <laughs> Silence and guidance. Yeah, they could be going to tarot readers about you. They're keeping their feelings to themselves. Like I said, they're never going to let on that they want to rip your clothes off. They're a little bit guarded. They like to go slow. They're not somebody that probably rushes into sexual passions like that. Doesn't have to be. Or they're just not going to rush in because of the, how intense their feelings are. Yeah, they're meditating like, oh, I'm going to rip his clothes off so I better sit here and just hum it out for a minute. <laughs> they're very, like, I don't mean to laugh, but it, from the, the storyteller's perspective, it's cute and it's funny. I'm not laughing at you and like, ha ha, what a weirdo. And it's cute. You guys just want to touch each other like crazy and I support those feelings <laughs> for sure um surrender yes they know at some point they're just gonna give in you're, like I said you're very dominant your energy is very dominant and they're just gonna be like eventually they're gonna get out of this oh I need to be center of control and just, just peel their clothes off and just say fuck it we're doing this I feel like <laughs> I don't know why this is... I'm really sorry it turned into a sexual thing, but whatever. I say what I see. You're both married. This is, this is mutual. You want to rip this person's clothes off in the same amount of... Ten like you are literally both frothing at the mouth at each other. This is so cute. Just have sex already. I mean, just do it. I wouldn't just do it, so. Why am I giving you this advice? I don't know. We have vision again, so perhaps you're both having visions and dreams about this. I'm not telling. If you're not ready, don't do it. I'm just being a jerk. But this amount of intensity, I think it's going to be very quick the first time. Because you're hyped up. <laughs> the per other person's hyped up. I just feel like. As soon as you guys touch each other, explosion. That's how much buildup has been going on. I don't know if this is the connection you're in or not in, but I'm just spilling the tea. And I like spilling this kind of tea. I don't like spilling the, like, bad news stuff. <laughs> Solitude. This person's spending a lot of time by themselves and away from you. You see how it's, like, kind of a shadow back there? Of this person they can't get you out of it I feel like they try to meditate and in comes those thoughts and they're like doing this like this is crazy I've never had such a sexual reading before <laughs> yep magic for sure you're both trying to manifest it's gonna be like magic I don't really want to say what I just heard, but I heard fit like a glove. And I'm going to leave it there, folks, because it's getting a little raunchy for my usual taste. And then I start blushing. Not that I don't have raunchy thoughts. I just don't say them out loud all the time. Because then I blush. <laughs> You're not allowed to know the secrets in there, people. Shh. A lady never tells. Yes, they do. They do. Just at the right times. When it's appropriate. 
not on YouTube. Love and light, everybody. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs> Maybe. This never works. I don't get it. <sighs> Bye for reals.